Now here we have a field of, uh, this is uh, sandfoin. This is the variety we've been growing, was well, been grown on this place since 1730. So hardly in an innovation. But you can see, in spite of the dry weather, I mean, we've had Saharan conditions here. This has grown incredibly well. It's absolutely drought proof. And we've got a lovely thick sward here. Uh, we've got sandfoin, coxfoot, medifescue here, which is the sort of mixture I usually make up. And I think here we've got a very good balance. This field has been down for eight years now. So, uh, you know, I think it's absolutely first class. I'm very pleased with it. And be a, we'll get a lot of produce off this crop. It's, it's bloat free. Uh, it's got high level of protein. And animals, because of the digestibility of the bloat, they'll grow faster on this than any other known forage crop. And yet it remains the Cinderella of British farming. Most extraordinary. But there we are. But its day will definitely come. And, you know, having fields of it this year in these difficult conditions, you know, this, this is going to make a hell of a difference to our farming enterprise because I do have several hundred acres of this. Thank heavens. It, it's, uh, it's really done well. This, the sand font, uh, this provides more honey than any other legume. So a very, very important crop to help honeybees. And, and of course bumblebees as well. So uh, it's another good reason to grow it as well, of course, as its beauty. I mean, it's a pleasure to look at it. I look forward to seeing it every year. It's wonderful pink. And this, of course, is the traditional color of farming in Hampshire and Wiltshire. I mean, they used to grow hundreds of thousands of acres of this, and the, the Hampshire Downs were close grazed on it, and the lambs were fattened off, finished off on it, and of course, after the war, when all this ground was ploughed up, I'm afraid sandfoin disappeared very, very quickly because of the advent of artificial fertilisers, and people thought they were better off with nitrates, artificial nitrates, and um, um, perennial ryegrass. But of course, what kept me growing uh, sandfoin here, well, my father really, because he kept it going here, was because, of course, we could get a very good crop with very little input. And, of course, today, as an organic farmer, uh, I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, it's producing all its own nitrogen, very high yield, very high digestibility, and very long life. Uh, as I said, this lay's been down for eight years, and it's in top-class condition. Um, and, it, it, you know, what more can you say? Anyway, it's a pleasure to look at it.